Hi, Scissorin here with another video, and today I figured we would do some basic crafting. So I'm just going to play around in Craft of Excel and tell you how I would craft things. So Craft of Excel is a great tool, and you can use it to just create any item you want. This, this is a good way to experiment with like what's the best way to craft something, because it'll give you percentages and stuff. And it's 99% accurate. I'm sure there's some exceptions, but generally accurate on most things. So weapons are very build dependent. I might experiment with a few weapons anyway. But uh, I'm just going to do some crafts and it will probably help somebody. So just some generic things and you'll get a good idea of what good gear is. We'll start with body armor and let's say that we're not like making league start stuff because that's just generally like very, very casual. But for most body armors, you'll see most people either do a strength dex chest, etc. Because there's honestly strength dex is a very, very powerful base right now. And the reason for that is that they can have both suppression and physical damage reduction. So full dragon scale is generally the best one that most people go for. It has higher armor than evasion. Charm for Lamalar is higher evasion than armor. But uh, and then normally we want at least item level 86. Now this is really important and we can use uh, another website called PWDB Strength Dex. And you can see here that um, suppression is item level 86 for the 22% roll. And then 86 as well for the 8% physical damage. So very, very great website to keep in mind. Now, what about if you get item level 100? Right now, there's no difference between item level 86 and item level 100. Um, that'll only be important if they add mods at 87, 88, etc., which would be the next ones coming up. And 86 is a fairly recent addition. And the number one thing that people are going to be doing is a fracture. So I can open up the trade site and I'll probably use softcore trade because probably the majority of people watching this is softcore trade and nothing's really available in hardcore trade. So let's say that I'm searching for body armor and especially if you're crafting on a budget, you might not end up on the ideal base, right? So let's search, we're searching for body armor, item level 86. And here on the armor filter, I know that I don't want any energy shield and I do want armor and I do want evasion, right? That's the baseline. I don't, maybe I don't care that much about getting a good base. So I'm not going to like put like a number, like a hundred here or something. I just want to make sure that the base has evasion and armor and it doesn't have energy shield because we don't want the energy shield hybrid bases. And then we're going to start perusing a little bit. So first, how much is it going to be for suppress fracture, right? And let's say we do actually need a max roll. So now that we put all the settings, we can look here and we see that there's only two for sale. And the reason for that is that these pretty much only drop from Cortex and a few other things. Like it's very rare to get item level 86 fractured. So if I'm going for suppression and tier one suppression on chest, I might be better off getting a different fracture. So then we'll start looking like, what is something else that I really want on a chest? Well, I'm very likely to want chaos resistance, right? We'll look for that as a fracture and then maybe we'll look for like 30 and above. Okay, there's only one of that. Oh, and that's actually just because we're searching for item level 86. Um, let's say that we're searching for item level 80, right? Now you see that there's loads here. A big problem now is now we don't have item level 86, which means maybe you might be better off on a chest specifically, not looking for a fracture, right? Um, and then you have a rug crafting chests is really, really good for suppression as well. Or you can try to make it up this way with tattoos. So this is sort of the thought process you need to have, right? You need to think like, what is the problem I need to solve? Well, the problem in, in this case might be, I need to get hundred percent suppression. What's the easiest way for me to get that? And then first you're looking for, can I get something like a good crafting base item level 86? We saw that that was quite hard to get with a nice fracture and you probably don't want a fracturing orb something like that yourself because a fracturing orbs at least on hardcore right now they're like 20 divines per i think they're 10 on softcore so it's a bit rough so our conclusion from this is fracturing might be if we want tier one suppression fracturing might be better on gloves helmet and boots on there it's only item level 85 to get the good rolls and that means that there's so many more options for us so here let's see about crafting a chest without any uh at all uh no fracture so generally what i do for this is obviously greed essences are very very good and if you are spamming essence yourself which is pretty popular to do you take all the essence nodes and then you're spamming essence on the map device and before you know it like it within a day your tab is overflowing with essences 
So with tier three essences, they're the ones that are, so this is screaming, shrieking, and deafening. Screaming and above, you don't need to scour, right? Like if I used a wailing, I would need to scour between each use. Whereas this, I can just like keep doing like this. Um, and honestly, here I would just be spamming and until I get tier one suppression, this is already a pretty okay hit. Now there's two options here. So we can play around with the uh, Eldritch crafting. So this is a good thing to learn. So right now we see that this is a suffix, right? So we want to try to get rid of this. If we use an annulment right now, um, it could get rid of something we, we want. Like it might get rid of, well, there it got rid of the thing we want to get rid of, but that's irrelevant. It might get rid of the life or the, yeah, uh, prefix. And that would be not the outcome we want right now. What we do instead is we click on Eldritch Crafting and we do a Lesser Icker. So we don't care what this hits at all. This is just to make the Eater of World Implicit uh, the superior one, whatever it's called, the dominant one. Uh, and now if we see what Eldritch Null does, if the Searing Exarch is dominant, remove a prefix. If the Eater of Worlds is dominant, remove a suffix. So this is very powerful crafting tool. You can't do this on weapons, but you can do this on anything that can have the implicits. So now... We hit that and boom, suppression is gone. But uh, if in an alternate reality, it did hit that, then we actually have a decent chest here already. Now, what do we do now? Do we just craft something nice? Well, that might be okay for some people, but most people probably want a prefix. So we could just avoid annulling that in the first place because now we might have to exalt and actually hit something nice. This happened on stream i would be pogging right now this was absolute best case scenario and a 0.62 percent chance so it's really funny that that happened on the first try um but more realistically you're probably just going to hit something okay so you might not have bothered to annul that in the first place right that's very very high risk because getting the tier one spell suppression is quite hard to begin with now i'll show you an alternative crafting method because i don't think particularly hitting the life with the essence is super important to begin with and i'll explain why in a second but uh the important thing here is to have an open prefix because most builds right now don't have much physical mitigation so a lot of people want to craft this physical damage from hits taken as fire so this is up to 12 percent physical damage taken as fire and some people will even go one step further beyond and use the horror because this is 15 fizz taken as fire. Um, so that's quite nice. And then you still have another craft that you can do. Right. So another craft is I really like finishing off the suffixes first. The reason for that is the prefixes are so easy for me to fix later and the suffixes are all that I really care about. So maybe greed essences might be a little bit expensive, but getting tier three hatred essences are probably like one or 0.5 C each. And then I can spam these until I have good suffixes. And it might be a while until we hit suppression. So I am going to cheat because I don't want to sit here spamming like a hundred and it actually might be over a hundred. Um, but let's say that we hit a really, really good scenario. Oh, actually that's pretty good. We'll cheat a little bit. So yeah. Okay. So let's say we didn't hit life. I prefer like slightly more realistic scenarios. Um, cause this was, it just already hit a really good chest. So I can't really teach you anything. Um, let's see. I don't want crafted suffix. I want the actual suffix. So let's say, let's say with this, this would be a really good chest with your suffixes, right? And then maybe it had some random ass prefix instead of hitting perfect life. Right. Now, what do I do? Well, we go back to the Eldritch Implicits. Now we use a greater ember to make that dominant. And now we can use these. These are like anywhere between 50 and 100 on hardcore. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to curiosity check what it is in softcore. Oh, 45C. 45C uh, on softcore. So obviously um, now I can also use Exalted Orbs. They're pretty cheap. How much are they on softcore? Exalted Orbs are 23C, right? So now I could Exalted Orb, Exalted Orb. Okay, I didn't hit anything that I wanted. Now what do we do? We go back to the Eldritch. We use Eldritch Chaos and boom, we hit again. And again, I can at least exalt once. Didn't hit Eldritch Chaos once. Eh. Uh, basically, until I try to get um, something good here. And I've been doing this on quite a lot of my tests. Here, we have 109 life. 
Costs you less than a few divines. So obviously this isn't super budget crafting I'm showing right now. That's more of the leak start stuff I have. Then we craft this and we're pretty happy with the chest. And now we start like working on the implicits. The last thing, there's not much we can do because obviously we can't add influence to this. You can't have like Eldritch and um, Fracture or Eldritch and... Sorry, you can have Eldritch and Fracture. You can't have Eldritch and um, Shaper. Uh, so we can just exalt the last one and hope that we hit something nice. Um, the other option would also be to do a Ashling prefix. We can show how that works. So this is very risky because you could remove the life. Suffixes cannot be changed. And then we will do Syndicate, Ashling Veil, and boom, it did remove the life. So very sad. There, so it has removed the prefixes, cannot be changed. And now we craft mana, if I can find it. Mana, 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 mana. Mana, any roll, and that's just to block what you can unveil. Um, and then boom, we get maximum life and mana. And then we just craft the Carishius thing again. And now we have a really nice chest, and we just recraft that until it's full. Divine, if you need higher suppression. And yeah, pretty happy with that chest. And then we would do the Eldritch Implicits. So, very, very commonly, honestly. There's not a huge difference between lesser, greater, and grand, so it's more like how rich are you? At least on hardcore, grands are like 20 to 30 C each. I don't know how much they are on softcore, probably cheaper. Um, but there's a lot of the cheaper ones that you can get that are really, really good. Depends on what you're going for. So most people go for aura effects and stuff like that. So either something to do with your auras or like the flash charges gain is really, really nice for Sanctum and depending on what you want to run. But yeah, aura effect is normally the main thing you've gone for. And yeah, this is a good example on how to make a chest. Right, next up we'll cover helmet. Same thing for helmet. We normally go for strength decks. Now, there is a, a case to be made for just going for dex helmets. Especially early league, you'll see me do this a lot. Um, now, why do I do that? And, and there are cases to be made for evasion energy shield too. But why do we do that? So the benefit of pure deck spaces is it's easier to roll suppression. The benefit of a strength dex roll is that you can get life regeneration rate and um, strength and, sorry, uh, dex and int is that you can get energy shield. So if you're using, for example, Eldritch Battery to help you with your mana or you want energy shield for just more energy shield, then that is a good thing too. But let's do a deck space to mix it up a little bit. And uh, so we can do 85. There's nothing really important at 86. I don't can't remember. Since they removed plus three minion gems, I don't know if there is anything in 86. Um, but I think that's really, really cool to craft here is um, loathing. So let's show how to make a loathing helmet. Now, this is really, really good, especially this thing because of uh, mana reservation tattoos. So you can get so much mana reservation now. So you might be able to fit a whole extra aura into your build. So now this is already a really, really good first hit. So now I'm going to craft any prefix and then I'm going to exalt it because I just want to make sure that I have good suffixes. So let's say that I actually hit something good. Um, this would be insane. Um, but what if I need suppression to begin with? Let's say that we hit suppression, but we didn't hit the um, there. And ideally, like I said, you really do want to craft on a fractured base if you can at all. That's why suppression fractures are so sought after. And even if they are anywhere between one and five divines, they will usually save you a lot more than that in crafting. But so now, should you just keep exalting and hope that you get something good? Well, there's actually a really cool thing you can do for relatively cheap. Now, it is expensive, uh, but it is relatively cheap compared to the power. So we do suffixes cannot be changed. But Zizarin, we want a suffix. Well, that's the neat trick. Just the existing ones that are there already can't be changed. So now we do Harvest Reforge Chaos. Boom. And this will guarantee Chaos Resist, right? So best case scenario, you hit Tier 1 Chaos Res. Worst case, oops. Uh, don't click twice. Uh, worst case scenario, it's low. But um, we've hit Tier 2 a few times. Anyway, let's say that we hit Tier 2. And then now... You can do what we showed earlier with the Eldritch Implicits to fix the prefixes. Um, I've been doing this on my helmet and I've also been doing um, suffixes cannot be changed in Reforge Life. It's a bit of a pain. Bit of a pain. Uh, this is very expensive. Let's see, Harvest. 
And you could also Ash Thing Unveil. It's very, very popular. I'll show you that after this. So you could do Suffix Can't Be Changed and Reforce Life. But that could be a pain to actually hit a good one. We're mostly hitting Hybrid here. But what about Ash Thing Unveil? Um, oh, here. So we could either Ash Thing Unveil, or we could do a Veiled Chaos Orb and hope that it doesn't like, hit something bad. So now we probably block Mana again. And then now, um, some builds will be looking for plus Prodig and Pierce. Some builds will be looking for plus AoE. Plus AoE is really sought after for Auras. Um, mostly hitting Pierce here. There's the AoE with Aura Effect. Or sorry, Area of Effect. Um, and then we can Craft Life on the last one. We do also have two open, so we could technically Exalt first. And just perfectly hit tier 2 life. And the helmet is done. It really is that easy. Apparently streamer RNG carries into Craft of Exile. And then you can do your implicits after. Um, now, there is a benefit to not doing a fractured helmet. And that is if you are going for tier 1 implicits. You can actually imprint and do the implicits uh, first. While the item is blue. Which you cannot do if it's fractured. Here I usually do grand on blue. Until I get reservation. And then I elevate it all the way to 12% reservation. Then I have a helmet with 22% mana reservation. So that's a good example on how to do a helmet. Next up let's do boots. There's a lot of cool things you can do with boots as well. And then we'll do strength decks. Dragon scale is the best base. 85. 86 is nice for the 35 movement speed. But... Then we struggle with finding fractures. And we do actually want to find fractures. So, um, these can be very, very easy to craft. Let's say that we fork out like the two divine or whatever we need for tier one suppression. Anywhere between like one and four divines, depending on how many are on the market. Boom, it's fractured. So now uh, we wriggle it to make it rare. Then we do essences. So what do we do now, Scissorin? Do we do life essences? Do we do movement speed essences? No, we're probably going to do um, resist essences. And honestly, I would be more likely to do chaos resist here and do a tier one chaos resist. And then I would do that until the other one hits something nice. So depending on your build, this could be life regeneration rate is very sought after because it's pretty easy to resist cap right now. Most builds are running purity of elements. So you're usually looking for utility. So let's say that we do hit tier 1 life regeneration. That's something I've been looking for on a lot of my boots right now. Also, like flat life regen would be nice too. There. Well, we have movement speed now. So we could actually craft life. And we have a pretty usable boot. But let's say we want something better than that. Then we do suffixes cannot be changed. And we can do veiled kale sorb. Now, we don't have to worry too much about the item bricking and filling up, because if it does, we can fix it with the uh, Eldritch Implicits and doing a Red Influence and then using Eldritch Chaos. So we don't have to worry about actually farming Ashleans for every um, attempt here. But now what we can do um, is we can block mana again. There, there are cases where you can block movement speed or block life. Just depends what you want to try to hit there. Uh, but yeah, blocking mana is the most common one. And then now you can get all the way up to 30 MS and Onslaught on Kill. This is really, really nice. We can also get Life. But the Crafted Life is so high on Boots that we're very okay with hitting MS on that. Um, and then what I usually do here is I'll Exalt the last one and hope that it doesn't hit anything break. So ideally you just do want to hit like actually good Life. Um, but honestly, pretty much anything. And you can see that we're hitting a low Life very, very often. So a lot of people don't even risk this and instead just craft life because you can get a very, very high amount. You can get all the way up to 70. You just recraft that until it hits. Nice. Uh, and then you can try to exalt the last one, try to hit hybrid life or high armor innovation or rarity. So this would be like 90 life boots. Pretty nice. And obviously you can see like the power of fractured items here, right? Very, very strong. So I hope you guys learned something about basic crafting in this video. If you want, I can do another one with like jewelry and tell you guys how to make plus two amulets again and things like that uh, and, and the other gear pieces. So I just wanted to do this as a test video and see if you guys learn anything from me playing around in Craft of Excel and showing you some basic crafts and talking about things like fractures. So let me know and we'll make another one. Thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.